Welcome everyone, it's me, the Soul Gardener, and this is my Sunday update. I have been doing a lot of exploration in my local area. And one of the things I like about my city is they love hibiscus and roses. They have a beautiful rose garden that I did harvest some seeds from it today. And I did some research on how to grow roses from seeds. And from my understanding, you have to freeze the seeds or store them cool for several months before you plant them in the ground. So I am going to give that a, a try. It's going to be an experiment. I also finally got the courage to try a new area. If you know anything about me, I'm one of these people who finds a place and they'll visit that place over and over because I'm scared to try new things. But finally, around my local um, lake where I love to walk, there's this beautiful place that had plants in it that I always wanted to explore. Well, today I finally got the opportunity to explore what was behind the fence and OMG it is absolutely amazing so I want to share with you guys what I discovered in this little hidden gem locally here in Lakeland Florida I also um, took a mango seed and I put it in a wet paper towel and then I stuck it in a ziploc and then I stuck it in another container that's plastic and then I put it on my UPS at work so that to act as a heating pad and then within seven days I see the root um, developing along with the stem so I'm truly excited about this experiment with the paper tower and the ziploc bag for this mango seed so I'll keep you guys posted on the status of that mango seed and I'm going to share with you too my trip to the community garden this week along with the tour that I did of this hidden gem restaurant. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stopped by the community garden today and they have free seeds on the table. So I have some cayenne peppers, some Chinese cabbage. I got some more carrots and something I've been wanting to try for the longest is New Zealand spinach. So these were free on the table. So I am going to start these. So they have these Japanese um, beans. I'm going to get some of these. They have a lot that dried out. So I'll harvest some of those so that I can grow them. Hey guys, so good morning. I am taking a walk around my favorite lake locally. And I have always been curious as to what was inside this building because I saw a lot of plants and I was like, it's a restaurant, that's what it is guys. But I am patronizing this place and I asked them could I video it and take pictures and they were like sure so I want to show you what they have so check out the dragon fruit here I love the idea of this place and then they have pineapples in these 10 um, galvanized planters and that's desert rose and some aloe and some grass and then some more succulents look like some type of cactus I don't know if it's Christmas tree or Easter or Thanksgiving but and I think this is a desert rose too but that's a fouling drawer that has been rusted and they got succulents growing in it that's pretty cool so I wonder if that is going to grow the dragon fruit because it's flowering and this is what it looks like coming in and here are some more rusted file cabinets that I think is pretty cool and awesome that's a neat idea and then they have the snake plant here so when you coming in this is what it looks like 
so they have a seating area and look at that the poor poker snap and share so they encourage you to take pictures of this place I think I'm gonna start coming here on Sunday mornings Central Florida and it's hot and pretty neat how the cactus are in the galvanized pots so this is like a shed but they have a lot of cactus succulent type life out here this is um milkweed I can tell by the aphids they love milkweed Isn't this pretty cool? When I get my land, I'm gonna do something like this. But look at the pineapples here and this old camper that they um, converted into like a dining area. And then look at the street signs that they repurposed. And that looks like a piece of an old truck here not sure what type of truck it used to be but they're using it to grow a lot of succulent type and cacti type stuff on it and then they have this seating area here where they have um, cacti and succulents and pillows which is pretty cool and a lot of galvanized tin containers And this is in Lakeland, Florida, if anybody is wondering where I am. So here is another um, camper. Maybe somebody lives in it because it has a recent tag on it. And that's where I purchased my lemonade from. And here is some more cacti and snake plants. And this is like a dining area. And that's another place you can buy stuff from and more seating area for dining over here and that looks like a bar this is pretty cool guys so I love the vintage bikes over here you know what? I'm gonna start looking for some vintage bikes for my um community garden when I get it my tiny home community garden but look at that that's vintage looks like a flashlight I love the color it's succulents too and this is like a seating area that provides shade and that's some agave type succulents So this is a this is a succulent. Look like agave that has flowered. That's pretty neat. And then look at these cacti, which has fruit on them. You can see. It takes a long time for them to grow this big. Okay, thank you. So I really love this atmosphere, and I think I'm gonna come here on Sundays and patronize so just so I can enjoy what's going on but look like we got some herbs here that looks like oregano and some mint that looks like another type of mint and basil some more basil some more mint and citronella and this looks like rosemary yeah, it's rosemary. It smells so good. And some more oregano and some citronella. So this is like a herb box right here. And here's some milkweed over here. Milkweed. Look at that little camper. It's cute. 
So over here, let's see what we got some black eyed Susans. I think that's black eyed Susans or sunflowers and elephant ears. Looks like that's it for this week's update on what's going on in the community garden. Next week, I am going to sow some seeds. Um, the seeds that I got were free from the community garden. And um, I think I want to explore and adventure out more. So if you like following me on my explorations, please let me know. And if you like the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're not already a member of the channel, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.